are never afraid of telling it as it is. Each encapsulates the spirit of their nations. Moni writes a letter from gracious, gilded Lahore. Shobha writes a letter from magnificent Mumbai. They float like butterflies and sting like bees. They remind us of what we have in common and also what divides us. Ladies and gentlemen, Moni Mosin and Shobha De, letter from Lahore, letter from Mumbai. And in the interest of Mehman Nawazi, Moni, you go first. Thank you. Dear Shobha, hello G. So much I've been receiving to tell you since we last met. I would have come to see you sooner if it hadn't been for this visa, shiza ka stupid yasa nonsense. Honestly, kya musibat hai yaar, can't even cross the border without having to beg a hundred hundred favors. It's bad enough that we have to go and beg goras for visas. But you know, pleading in front of desis doesn't seem right. At least not for us khata pita types. Unlike the poor who have to beg every day for everything, hum used to nahi hai na? So it's not fair on us. <laughs> Talking of visas, suna hai our foreign secretaries have also been doing chit chat quietly in the backside. I think so. I think so. They're trying to do sula after two years of kutti. Janu says that their talks have ended in stalemate. I mean, if you are going to bang on and on about bore jhagras like Kashmir and Siaching and Sir Creep, I say, who is this man, Sir Creep? So naturally, Baba, you are not going to make any head away. Now, instead of these bore babus from Islu and South Block, if our governments had sent you and me to do the talking, everything would have been sorted in the squint of an eye. Because you know na, you and me, kitna kuch we have in common. We have cricket in common, we have all our celeb friends in common, we have Bollywood in common, we have pans, mangoes, shadis, shallus, shole in common. And then we all have our khans in common. By Amir Khan, Salman Khan, Irfan Khan, Fawad Khan, Imran Khan, Reham Khan. And of course, not to forget the most important Khan of all, Khan Market. <laughs> you know, for me, Shobha, first there's Harrods. Then there's Dubai Mall, the one with the antiquarium full of sharks and all. And then there's Khan Market. Bas. As soon as an antiquarium opens in Khan market also, I will move it up to number two. Meanwhile, please accept my sorries, okay? Ha, yaad aya. We also have our TV dramas in common. Mummy, to is totally little over some serial of yours called Chikori or something. Every time I call, she pretends she's in the toilet, so she can't speak to me. But I know she's watching Chikori. Either that or she's got aerobic dysentery. Vaise, imagine wanting to watch a drama more than talking to your own daughter. One shouldn't say bad things about your mother, of course, but mummy is such a dhokhe bars, na? But I must confess, Shobha, I myself have become hooked on to these Turkish soaps that we're getting in Pakistan nowadays. Hi, you have to watch, Shobha. The men, I tell you, they are such hulks. You know, tall, jesse, fear, and handsome. My absolute fave was a serial called Mera Sultan, which was about Suleiman the Magnificent. I got so revolved in it. Kya batao? After I finished, I called my auntie Pussy and I said to her, Hi, auntie. I'm so depressed, so depressed, ke don't even ask. And she said, but why, beta? And I said, because my Turkish soap has finished, na? And she said, you know, beta, I to swear by dove. <laughs> <laughs> it gives best lather. Ha, Shobha? Yaad aya. One more thing we have in common. Bands. So for us, Basant is banned. Government says it's for our own good only. Because a lot of kids used to fall off their roofs while flying kites. But I am wondering, if government cares so much about our safety, 
then why haven't they banned Kalashnikovs, huh? <laughs> Water you can buy as easily as chapatis in the bazaar, but not kites. And also, YouTube is banned for us. In case we come across something that will shock innocent, pious people like us, you know, which if we watch by mistake, we go straight to hell. Also, I'm guessing it is for same sort of reasons that beef is banned for you Bombay walas. Hi, can I say the word Bombay or is that also banned? <laughs> Don't want to offend now, being a guest with a single entry visa and that also after so much groveling shoveling. And also I hear BBC documentaries are banned for you all in case you get shocked by their contents. Honestly, it's so nice to have governments that care so much for our moral welfare, no? Paise Shobha, why do foreigners have to make such hurtful shows and say things in them that shock us so much? I mean, and also they give us such a bad image of us to the rest of the world. I mean, why can't they say nice, nice things about us? Between you, me and the four walls, I think so it's a conspiracy to underline us. That's the only explanation. Otherwise, to Shopa, we are advanced ancient civilization, no? I mean, our olden times ki cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were not in Indus Valley civilization. Nahi thi. Uski andar, they found proper big brick-lined nalas and drains. Vagaira. Imagine, 4,000 years ago, when London and New York walas were wearing bear skins and eating kira makoras, we were sitting on Dura Vich ke flushing toilets. Gee! And last week, a person from some United Nations ki branch came to us and told us that 40 million Pakistanis are doing big and small bathroom in the outside. And this was not nice. What cheeks, I say? I wanted to tell her. Bhai, I'm sorry that the poors have forgotten how to sit on toilets and are doing bathroom big and small outside now, but it's not our fault if they're suffering from amnesia, okay? <laughs> or bus show by at my end, it's business as usual, parties, khanas, GTs, oh baba get-togethers, <laughs> weddings, vagera. Everybody who's everybody invites you. And if you don't go, then people mind kar jati hai, na? So you know, Shobha, no rest for us hard-working types. Okay, darling, have to rush off to a kitty party now. Mwah! Tell na. <laughs> Chal na. Tell now. No, tell, telling, telling, telling. After this, what there is to tell? Sab kuch aapne keh diya hai. Apni baat kari hai. Apni dil ki baat. Come on, we can give a bigger cheer than we just did. Oh. Thanks, na. From the back side also it's coming. Oh, I know. Yeah. A lot is going on in the backside, I can see. <laughs> Chaliya, I've called mine love letter from, from me to you, of course, but love letter to Lahore. Meri Pyari Moni, aap se bahut kuch share karna hai. You know, gap shap vagera, especially after my last visit to your seductive city, Lahore, where every second woman resembles our beautiful Madhubala and sounds like your melodious Noor Jahan. After each visit to what a gushing foreign journalist to the Lahore Lit Fest, described as the Paris of the East, provoking a Lahori lawyer into retorting promptly, what bakwas yaar, why not call Paris the Lahore of the West? I came away filled with lust and longing. Our Vikram Chandra, describes both emotions most eloquently in his magnum opus. I don't know about stinging like a bee, yaar, but Lahore certainly makes me want to float like a butterfly, just like those heavenly babies who give the impression of having bathed in asses milk minutes earlier, 
mashallah what fine features what delicate skin it has to be the diet or the great sex though if i were to live love and feast in lahore i would resemble humpty dumpty in the first week itself those lethal lahori kebabs and the paradise ka shawarma to say nothing of dere ismail khan's rich nutty doda the walnut reduced milk and sugar winter speciality remains matchless it is as large a wave as the lahori tradition of feeding mehman the choices dishes starting with chikla chana aloo parathas and mithai for breakfast and ending with sizzling tawa chicken and aromatic biryani for dinner how can i forget the meetha shahi tukra and fragrant rose syrup covered with finely diced badam pistas please note i have not mentioned beef it has become a banned item where i live in mumbai and i face a 5 year jail term if beef is found in my thoughts no sorry in my possession um it shut down um yet another avenue of tolerance he was a voice of tolerance he was a voice of rationality um and he was a very liberal voice as well and all of those progressive things came to an end um i strong to say came to an end but they were dealt a body blow with salman's passing and um it's interesting these days um his killer uh his case has come up to the islamabad high court and um they have said that uh he did not commit an act of terrorism but he did murder and therefore he is to uh he's liable for the death penalty um and and again the i mean it 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 astonishes me but the people are divided on this um and i think it's it's a very sad reflection on what has happened to our people and yet uh, you can be funny so how can you be so funny in in uh, the face of such uh, horror you know sometimes humor allows you to get through the dark times and um i i call it sort of gallows humor or laughter in the dark but to be honest i think um a lot of pakistanis have a great sense of humor what keeps us going and punjabis in particular have um uh the ability to make self deprecating jokes so they so they appreciate it they and we also have a very long tradition of it in our culture in 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 our writing in our uh public culture so for instance i don't know if this institution exists in india but we um up, even now we have people called bhands hmm. who show yes. up at weddings and at at sort of um public events and they really lay into you um even into the host or whoever's even paying for them um so there is a tolerance for for uh humor and television there's a lot of satire as well newspapers television literature the only thing we don't laugh about are the molvies because that can get you killed shobha which brings me to of course she talked about humor she talked about bhans and she talked about bans and the next question is that we are also living in a culture of intolerance you have the aib whom we are going to have later in the day ladies and gentlemen we are going to enjoy them being roasted so tell me how how is it uh, as a writer as an artist to you know when people are outraged so easily you have to be very careful of what you're doing and saying and writing kaveri no i don't think so i don't think you have to be careful the minute you say you're being careful it automatically suggests that you are scared or that uh, yeah. uh, the state is bigger than you are and i believe that um, freedoms of all kinds um, say a lot about uh, society and uh, a country and the more secure you are as a people uh, the more scope you have to negotiate those freedoms and freedoms are really indivisible you cannot say you can cannot have a government which says so much freedom is what we will allow and so much oh. is what uh, we find offensive and this will be banned and that will be banned the minute you surrender even one cent a centimeter of any of your personal freedoms uh, you're dead 
So in, it was very important to, uh, to support the roast and uh, to support those uh, young people who participated in it, the young people who enjoyed it, who were there uh, because they wanted to participate in something of this kind. Irreverence is a very he healthy, it's cathartic for a society which has to deal with so many other harsh realities all the time. And it's a safety valve, like humor is a safety valve. And the more you can laugh at yourself, the more it really tells you about yourself and your own sense of confidence. So in terms of freedoms, I do believe um, they are non-negotiable. And there is no question.